good evening everyone welcome to another episode of candid meena and today we have uh, again with, with us uh, dr ganesh uh, bokre uh, and he is uh, you know welcome dr ganesh and uh, you know everyone is uh, you know very keen to uh, listen to your conversations uh, you know share your beats of wisdom and today's topic is something which uh, you know if each and every human person uh, you know encounters in his life that he or she must have failed at at least one thing in his life right like even the most uh, successful businessman the most richest person will have failed at least once in his life for sure so uh, i mean like now in india you can see that um, especially the youngsters uh, you know they are facing a lot of uh, problems you know getting uh, maybe jobs in india you know, some problem some uh, youngsters have uh, you know uh, problems in uh, maybe you know uh, having financial problems they might start a startup company and they will fail in that uh, startup company they lose uh, money uh, a lot of money you know they will uh, then have uh, you know mental uh, problems right and then they will uh, a lot of people commit uh, suicide in india because uh, of the financial problems and this is uh, becoming ever increasing because uh, there's a lot of competition in the indian job market uh, you can see that uh, for one job occupancy there will be like 200 300 candidates in india applying for the same position that speaks a lot because uh, india indians as a race uh we are used to getting uh, you know uh we are used to being an employee most of the time and not being an employer or being an entrepreneur because uh, you know it is very difficult to be an entrepreneur and we are quite comfortable in the fact that you know we are used to getting a monthly pay slip and listening to people you now we are uh, by race i think uh, submissive race compared to other races so uh, these are the kind of uh, you know observations which i made personally in my life that uh, you know uh, so it's over to you uh, dr ganesh ji and you have more experience and uh, you know your experience more life than me so it's over to you as to you know explain to our audience uh, in a very very simple way not very complicated as to what is what is failure how would you define failure yeah uh, thank you jaydev and uh, thank you all the audience of uh, candid meena uh, and uh, thank you for tolerating my nonsense for last couple of sessions <laughs> <laughs> they are enjoying they are enjoying your beats of wisdom dr ganesh uh, uh okay so today's topic is very uh, genuine problem and uh, even i am having uh, observation i also came across a lot of people And can you uh, speak up uh, ganesh a bit more louder is it possible the volume i, I also yeah. came across uh, uh, such type of scenarios in the societies as well as in my friend circle okay as well as in my uh, uh, you can say relatives as well okay though i am not attached with uh, my relatives much but uh, whenever they come across problem they will try to approach me to fix the problem now here the first thing is lot of problems okay are imaginary problems that is a one cause of the problem the second cause of the problem is uh, nobody wants to put the efforts in their life in a right direction okay and the third problem is lot of expectations and desires without credential or capability so these are the three main reasons uh, of the problem and failure in the life now uh uh you initially asked me lot of questions in the introduction only okay and uh, uh we can address each one independently for example youngsters we'll start with the youngsters okay young nowadays youngsters are having lot of expectations without efforts without experience without uh you can say uh, the maturity or realization of rest of the world so they think if i'll do something i should get success 100% and that is a, the first uh, you can say the failure of their uh, uh, life now for example uh, yeah, people are expecting i should get 90% in 10 standard i'm just giving one example representative case okay representative case uh, don't 
like that there are main multiple problem means uh, it can go up to entrepreneurship okay people wants to become entrepreneur uh, immediately after graduation and that is a first level of failure okay uh, so uh, now we'll address each one step by step the first thing is why nowadays kids are becoming like this so instead of addressing symptoms of the problem we should address the root cause of the problem okay and the root cause of the problem is nothing but the parents okay that is my observation uh, some people if they don't like it please forgive me don't don't uh, don't consider my opinion okay it is my opinion okay if you like it it is okay if you don't like it because a lot of comments will come okay but the my first blame because i am also a father i am a parent and first thing i will blame myself but obviously uh, it is not in your control 100% i also agree with that but the the way you nurture your kids nowadays it's horrible i saw the parents they feel their kids are great they are they born in a different world they are means there are some some kind of hallucinations they have ki my kid is a great kid means uh, whenever i uh, i'll give couple of examples whenever i go, used to go to uh, soham school Ms. Soham is my son. Okay. Soham school. Uh, the the parents used to discuss such type of a nonsense. Means, how can my son get the only ninety in mathematics? That is a question. Now, such type of problems cannot be solved. Such type of problems cannot. And people will call it as a problem. It is a mental problem. You should go to psychiatrist. i don't i don't recommend psychiatrist but the in the materialistic life you need a psychiatrist and according to me you are having a mental problem so so sir uh, i'll just uh, make one point uh, sorry uh, do you think the indian education system is also a reason for that for uh, many students feel yes absolutely in fact i sent my uh, recommendation Uh, for uh, how how our education system is i won't say my recommendation will be 100% full proof but uh, since i was a teacher and uh, when i was in 10th standard i started taking tuitions and i taught in engineering college as well so my college of engineering bombay okay i taught there for 3 uh, 4 years and uh, for last 20 years i am going as a visiting faculty in various engineering college so our education system is uh, also a faulty in fact our engineering is a most hopeless system on the planet because there is no engineering in one window they take 4 lakhs rupees of fees and in the second window they give the certificate and then all the engineers will collect that certificate and then they are expecting the bill gates will come to their door and he'll say please please come to my office and join my company so these are the expectation that's why i'm saying it is a mental problem of the people i have taken the interviews uh, maybe in my 25 years time span i have taken interviews more than 5000 candidates and my yield factor is less than 5% my yield factor is less than 5% means uh, out of 100 i will select only 5 people so uh, uh, but what are people i have selected most of them have done the post graduation phd like one of my engineer he was in connection system and now he uh, he uh, i i ask him you get lost from this company because he was very smart guy and now you you don't you don't waste your life after graduation he was getting good salary almost 8 to 10 lakhs rupees of salary uh, after his graduation but when i talked to him and i told him you don't do this don't waste your time spend 2 years for your future and then he went to uh, he did his ms from imperial college of london and then phd from cambridge university now he is working as a top class scientist in artificial intelligence and now you can imagine his salary so he would have stuck with the connection system at hyderabad he would have got instead of 10 lakhs he would have got 20 lakhs or 30 lakhs in last 5 uh, years okay so uh, uh, sometime you don't follow the proper instructions means uh, you see you right from birth of the child till he reaches its maturity level say graduation level will will define a threshold till his graduation level you have to 
put huge amount of efforts to give the right direction and stop pampering of your kids first you stop pampering of your kids now there are now the second uh, uh, you can say the virtues will come to the kid through school the first one is from the parents and family first virtues first level of virtues up to 5 years second level of virtues will come from school and sometime i do agree school may not give that virtues because nowadays the uh, our time when i was in school our teachers used to bit like nobody's business if even if you make a small mistake means even if you are late in the school okay we used to get a uh, five uh, you can say uh, five uh, hammerings on our hands and if we inform our parents okay a uh, teacher today i got a, i got beaten by teacher our parents used to beat again ki you did something wrong nowadays what will happen the parents will go to school and they they will sue the teacher okay some teachers are making mistake i do agree but nowadays nobody is interested in teacher people i saw the student mera teacher to pagal hai usko kuch bhi nahi aata 20 30% there is a fact as well i do agree i am not i am not taking only one side but there is a fact of teacher so uh, the, there was a when soham was in school there was a one mathematics teacher okay and uh, you you saw my uh, you saw the way way i'm uh, uh, i live my life even uh, uh, almost uh, 10 15 years back i used to be means very simple uh, outfit so when i used to go to school they used to feel ki this person doesn't know anything he doesn't know schooling and she was giving me the lecture ki uh, 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 kids should get a proper training now this is a for all the parents this is a uh, you can say the message for all the parents and then she started giving me the lecture ki uh, the mathematics is very uh, difficult subject science are very difficult subject now why she was doing because she was expecting my kid to join her tuition now this is our education system now what i recommend so uh, she gave me the lecture almost three four times and then my wife was say, started saying ki uh, let let him go to the uh, tuition and all this i mean no no way he is not going to join any tuition i will teach him mathematics and then once uh, she called me the teacher called me and she started again giving lecture then i started asking him okay what do you know about mathematics okay so i started from basic mathematics algebra and then i have taken it up to integration and uh, newton's laws and uh, mathematical models of newton law from that onwards she never called me till he passed his 10th standard so one should know uh, means coming under pressure of teacher parent should not do this at the same time blaming teacher should not be done if your teacher is giving some guidance okay not a selfish guidance if she is expecting to join tuition then obviously he is not a good teacher but nowadays that is also changing now uh, the, the education system is also faulty faulty in the sense all kids should learn all subject marat means when i was a student uh, same almost similar kind of the syllabus is there even i saw my son syllabus so marathi hindi english three languages science uh, mathematics everything you don't expect to kid to learn everything so what i was suggesting now see we don't know what is the interest of the student so what i am rec- i recommended you keep 10 subjects i am not against of that along with that you keep the subjects such as sports you keep the subjects music as a subject you keep the technology as a subject right from uh, say 8th standard you start teaching them the technology technology in the sense so that he can survive he can find out a way of survival for example radio mechanic uh, uh, tv mechanic or anything whatever because some kids all kids are not smart do you agree or you cannot treat all the uh, kids to uh, gain 90% in the mathematics or any subject some kids might be interested in the music some kids might be interested in sports then you can teach them sports technology how to make shoes how to make bat how to make ball what are the technology involved that person may take a interest in that so what i what i recommended them you keep the 10 subject okay out of that give weightage to only four subjects four or five subjects you decide it you take a decision 
four or five subjects which kids can select means if kid if uh, if any kid doesn't like mathematics he is not interested in mathematics he should learn basic mathematics i do agree means i'm not against of that he should forcefully should learn he should know how to multiply how to add how to correct but don't make that math subject as a skill set of his uh, career that person might be interested in music so what he will do he will check mark ki these are my career oriented or you can say the my uh, skill oriented my subject and you give the percentage based on that and other subjects should be passed only maths he should just clear the maths that's it so so at what sorry at what age uh, should this be done uh, in, your, in your opinion right from fifth standard fifth standard up okay to fifth standard it doesn't have much maturity so uh, let them study the basic subject the basic maths uh basic uh, language whatever language means now we are having language is also a problem in our country because every state has a different language correct so obviously he should know his mother tongue or uh, and keep it optional means for example you cannot force to learn german or french or nowadays that is a fashion because uh, 10 standard you'll find lot of kids are taking french german and that is they are not taking that subject because they like it their parents will force oh Um, you should go to foreign and you should know chinese you should know french you should know all these language and the indian problem indian problem indian mindset problem is they feel ashamed of their own language nowadays i saw okay, sanskrit means they'll start laughing they'll start laughing i saw such type of idiot parents uh, excuse my language excuse my language but uh, i still i'm using a very soft word idiot if parents are getting angry you can have the bad comments against me no problem i don't care but you are spoiling the life of your kid and before before uh, another now i will go to the root cause of the problem root cause of the problem before you give the birth to your child at least for 3 months chant the name of the god anybody is doing it no after marriage they are ready to go to hanu uh, honeymoon and how do how they are going to do the ding dong business their interest is in that and then output will be like this only in 90% cases so the first thing right from birth of the kid till the 10th till the 10th then 12 these are the slabs so there is a you cannot have the control i cannot say that you can change the education system i could not change the edu- i tried my level best but in somaya college of engineering though i was the best teacher okay i faced thousands of problems and the other teachers started playing games against me so i don't want to tell all this stuff because i solved my own problems and that's why i started teaching in uh, various engineering college as a visiting faculty i was a very popular teacher but i was a bad among uh, certain people because uh, they they uh, students never used to like that. so now there are two problem the problem from parent side problem from education side in education primary uh, teaching problem primary school teaching problem i sent this the recommendation to education minister ki you arrange this subject obviously you do more brainstorming i am not saying ki my suggestion is ultimate suggestion but if you offer the education in which the kid is interested by making certain arrangement means see you cannot globalize you cannot make it everything universal but the solution is you give them four subject in which they want to make the career means jaydev tomorrow says i am interested in sports or i am interested in music so his main courses that is called major sometime in us they use major and minor okay so your major will be music or your major will be sports or your major will be science or your major will be mathematics your major will be language and then the, you see the output of that kid you'll find fantastic output i'm not saying 100% kid will achieve but 90% problem will get solved i believe do you think the to... sorry uh, do you think the uh, american or the european uh, education system is uh, much geared to you know uh, sort of uh, bring the best in uh, you know young people or uh, their Indians... primary education is totally screwed up primary mm-hmm. education is totally screwed up because of their uh, you can say the legal and law system so the kids uh, they don't respect the teacher 
and therefore it is very difficult to uh, bridge the gap between teachers and uh, students because every small thing a uh, uh, student can sue the teacher and that's why teacher will go in a defensive mode if he is saying i don't want to answer okay don't answer i don't want to do this okay sometime they carry the guns in school colleges so they are having a different problem forget about their problems but their uh, technology education means engineering or medicine that is a quite good that is a quite good but uh, it is uh, it is not perfect it is good but not perfect for example engineering okay now why uh, you will ask me the question why you send soham to uh, san diego state university or us california because the answer is he is pursuing his career in artificial intelligence india is not yet prepared to that second one is a teaching quality in engineering colleges i know if you'll go to engineering college and if you'll ask a teacher to give 15 minutes lecture on any topic whatever you like whatever you like still that teacher won't able to teach means you'll find a lot of teacher 90% teacher in engineering colleges they don't know the abcd of engineering and since they don't get a job anywhere since they don't get a job anywhere they join teaching as a teaching profession and on the ad hoc basis you know the engineering teacher salary if you join as per the aict rule a lecturer will get 70000 rupees salary but 90% colleges are giving salary of 20000 rupees a pun or you can say the pun or a, a, a low grade servant in government job they are getting 25 to 30000 rupees salary starting salary and these teachers engineering teacher are getting 20000 rupees salary and this is a condition of engineering college we are having hundreds of engineering colleges in hyderabad if you go to i i, I worked in hyderabad almost for 7 to 8 uh, years the condition in hyderabad is so bad so bad you just cannot imagine they just want a cert certificate engineering because career like career is what get a engineering certificate then somehow try to get a visa okay h1 or l1 visa join some third grade company and somehow managed to get opportunity in us or europe okay and then wear three four pant have one uh, car okay then get married with 2 crores rupees of uh, what is that uh, dowry okay and then lead a life get try to get apply for a green card and this is a definition of a success and end of the day these parents okay they they die alone okay sometimes kids are also because entire system is corrupt and the success is counted in terms of the money now i told my son you take that education now see why their engineering or medicines are so good even though primary schooling is hopeless but engineering and uh, uh, medicines they are good because they go tightly coupled with the industry means their masters or btech project it is uh, nothing but the industry project research project and that's why a lot of research is happening there in our country education has nothing to do with the industry now there is a one company i don't want to take the name because it may cause a problem to your channel but there is a one company service company you can predict it they came to iit when i was a iit student okay and they said uh, 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 yeah. iit students are little bit crazy four year six year four four, uh, four year btech course and master two years and sometime integrated mtech is directly six years course means to after 12 six year course so uh, they are saying away from parents uh, so very often they don't change their clothes also our time i, I don't know the current today situation now today's kids are uh, hi highly advanced having bikes and our time even cycle was also a problem getting cycle was also a problem so that time uh, since company used to give t-shirt people used to come for the interview okay that uh, introductory session and then uh, there was a manager some vice president of uh, uh, that company okay i'll give the name of the company infosys and they said we can take all the engineers without interview because it is iit okay so your average engineer will find is uh, much better than uh, any other engineer and they are aware okay and even if 5% 10% engineers are not good still okay with them but they may not get such a 100 200 engineers such a brilliant engineers 
they are above average because obviously they come through the gate exam entrance exam very tough exams courses are all mathematics the maturity level is quite high on average for iitians okay and that is a fact as well so not even a single student joined in first so one person was giving lecture and then uh, he was saying uh, india is not doing research and blah 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 i raised my hand and i said how much money you are investing in the r and d in india and he did not have an answer but they will start writing books and all this stuff how we become billionaire uh, and uh, uh, somebody is pm somebody is wife of pm and blah 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 hopeless people the contribution for the country they made all engineers important this is my strong comment testers 90% engineers in us are testers bloody testers and that is a very sad part of our uh, education system now our engineering is hopeless iit is okay now you give me the answers give me the answer i want answer from your side why all 99% iitians are going to us when i came back from uk i i worked in a us for a couple of years because not a, not on h1b but i used to visit us for my project work so i used to spend a lot of time in us and uh, in england i got a work permit i was there for two years when i came back to india company saying you are over qualified we don't know on phd people now what should i do tell me and then people will start making comments huh? iitians are uh, going to us now you tell me ik sundar pichai he is from iit kharagpur he is a ceo of uh, you are this google correct if you die stayed in india what would be, what would have been the chances to he become a ceo what do you think next to none bigger than zero nothing almost zero almost zero because there are a bunch of idiots sitting at the top level who doesn't know anything about engineering in school colleges uh, principals i i i whenever i visit as a visiting faculty so there is a initial introductory 10 minutes lectures from head of department principal and blah 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 i give lectures on artificial intelligence and digital signal processing embedded system so and my lectures i never use pen paper nothing nothing it is just i'll start speaking i'll start speaking on signal processing right from signal system mathematical models everything without a chit and that and uh, when i was in college i used to do the same thing and uh, you can uh, you can uh, you can do the enquiry uh, on uh, back of me as well uh, there is a there is a vidyalankar classes in bombay okay vidyalankar classes in bombay now it is uh, 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 now it is a college as well vit it is called vit vidyalankar institute of technology in that classes i used to teach from 90s 1990 because i told you i was thrown out of the house i told my problem i don't want to repeat that again so i was desperate need in need of money so i started teaching in that class you know how many subjects i used to teach more than 20 subjects nobody teaches more than 20 subjects in engineering means edc1 electronic devices and circuit 1 2 digital signal processing digital communication and then first lecture on uh, digital signal processing second lecture on microprocessor but that that gave me such a huge advantage i got a expertise almost on entire electronics engineering technology because everything is there in the brain and that because of that i got a huge salaries in multinational company now these are my efforts now these are my problems and this is a way you should solve your problem or tackle your problem because system level problem you cannot solve education level problem you cannot solve because a lot of politics a lot of uh, you can say the processes are involved but uh, government don't consider if you go to ai city committee actually uh, when i uh, I, i did one uh, uh, you can say the what is that operation called sting operation i was working in a company okay uh, connection system and i just came to pune and there was a uh, some interview is going in one college uh, there is a college in pune okay i forgot its, its name so uh, i just went for the fun uh, for the position of assistant professor because i am having a phd and in industry experience so that guy started asking me such a foolish question he was giving he was asking me 
uh, in the electronics devices and circuit, Milman Halkes, one book. Milman Halkes was a very popular book. Oh, don't worry about it. In that chapter, have you studied the thermal stability and what sentence is written? Is this a question? Is this a question? And then I drilled him for 20 minutes. He remi I reminded him his mother and father's name. I'm just using, I, I'm not in position to use the bad words. Spirituality doesn't mean I should be very soft. I should be very polite. I should be very sweet. Bacha, ajao. Okay. Tumai mai sab kuch. No. You look at the Gita. You look at the Lord Krishna and the way he did, with the way he treated. Just tell me, Lord Krishna, despite the fact he was a god, Okay, despite the fact, ah, Milman Halkis. <laughs> it's a very, <laughs> very popular book of uh, electronics. Uh, so uh, just ask yourself if you read a Gita, why Krishna did not solve the problem of Pandavas? When Pandava went to Vanvasa, okay, why Krishna could have taken them to Dwarka? Because he was a king of Dwarka. Nobody is raising this question. Why people are not, when you are reading Mahabharata, you are reading Gita, what you are reading, what you are learning out of it. Because, and these virtues are not given by the parents to their kids when kids are going to school. Instead of that, my kid got only 90%. How much you want, man? How much you want? Eh? I want to slap such type of parents. Really. I am raising my voice. I want to slap. Idiot parents, kids will be also idiot. And then and the language I see nowadays the kids, you know, hey dude, you be cool, don't get frustrated. They're giving, they're giving lecturing, they're lecturing. Don't get cute, don't get frustrated. You are standing in the middle of the road and then you cool dude, don't get frustrated because your parents haven't taught you the virtues. And this is a problem of parents because see, they produce the kids for entertainment. This is a very strong comment, very strong comment. They produce their kids for entertainment. And then they are saying, Ki, this is happening, that is happening. You find out a root cause of the problem. When you get married and if you want to have a child, at least spend three months in chanting the name of the God. Whatever, whatever you like. Take a sotra, chant it for say uh, 1000 times or 10,000 times. Whatever you, I will recommend go for 21,000 times. Will you do it? No. So, uh, yeah, coming uh, and just, um, you know, coming to a point is, okay, we, we have discussed that, you know, it's a possible, uh, you know, problem with the up upbringing of, uh, you know, from the parent right. side. There's a uh, problem from the education uh, system of India. Uh, now, yeah. when this person uh, or when this child becomes an adult, now, and he, you know, maybe he'll start some, uh, he'll uh, look for jobs in the engineering uh, uh, this thing and he doesn't get any any jobs uh, in the engineering side or he may be uh, in medis, me, medical field or he may be you know starting his own business with uh, as a startup and then he fails right he keeps on failing you know year after year because of very high competition in India right so then what does he do at that point of time the first thing don't try to look forward to what should a person do after failure. No. You start thinking, my failure rate will be as low as possible. I should not face the failure in the life. That You start thinking in that direction. Correct. Now, why there is a failure? The first thing will take a job and second thing will take a business. Okay. We'll, we'll address these two questions separately. If you are going for a job, okay. And if you are not getting a job, see in, in India, you are getting a job. A lot of jobs are there. But the problem is they don't know the engineering. Means whenever you say I am be electronics engineer or electronics and telecommunication or whatever, or mechanical, civil, whatever, or computer science, how much you know about your engineering? That is a question. And if you want a, a live example, whenever I am taking an interview, you can join. Me. And you see, they are unable to answer even basic questions. You, you, uh, I mean, Jaitev, it's my open challenge. You bring some engineer who needs a job. You can attend call with me. And I will ask him the questions. What, see, I take the interview, very rational interview. Means if it is a fresher, I take the interview like this. 
what is your final year course because see he doesn't have any experience i cannot ask him the industry standard questions so i will ask him what is your final year project and what are your uh, specialized courses normally in engineering if you go to final year there is a specialized course you can do the specialization power electronics or signal processing or microservice system or digital design or vlsi specialized some specialized they are unable to answer they uh, i have some kids they give the answers freshers uh i did it in second year i don't remember i did it in third year i don't remember and if you give some uh, say programming problem now they do look, uh, nowadays engineering student they are having lot of programming lives especially c in our area we need a c matlab and python so i ask the question forget about the syntax of the language c language or python pseudo code there is a concept called pseudo code means rough logic you write a logic don't write a, don't worry about uh, syntax still they won't able to write and at the end when it, when we expect the salary then he will say 15 lakhs 12 lakhs nobody will give the job first thing you try, and then again another typical question ki uh, what is your proficiency in programming any language any language you, which you know typically c language or python language 1 to 10 you know what answer they give freshers 9.5 Now, if you give nine point five, what is your expertise? Very top level expertise. Very very top level expert. Whenever I, despite the fact I'm having twenty five years of experience, my C C plus expertise. Whenever people ask me, I say seven. After twenty five years, and uh, I know my coding. I can show you my coding online. See, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, uh, Ganeshji, I'll just uh, okay. you know uh, you are saying the point that uh, you know students uh, you know coming out of colleges they don't have uh, the kind of uh, you know expertise in uh, you know certain skills which is required which is um, required by the job market right now i'm not talking about freshers i'm talking about like experienced people like 5 6 years even they are finding it difficult to get to jobs point. because there's hardly i mean there is lack of jobs and there is uh, you know less jobs in india and there is more people you know who are talent who are talented and they are still not getting jobs that's the problem yeah so there are multiple problem the first one is even though they are having 5 6 years of experience what experience they have do they have a hands on experience that is the first question hands on experience you understand meaning of hands on experience either hardware problem software problem mechanical engineering civil engineering problem what are engineering problem can you solve that problem 90% cases they are not able to solve the problem because right from the day one they will join some service engineering and will will be doing testing and if you spend your more than one year in testing you will get job only in a tester in a service company that's it your career is over you ask that person what is a engineering what is a differential equation you take any engineer and ask him what are engineers you know okay who are not getting having 5 years of experience just ask him what is the differential equation you won't able to answer but still like, uh, i mean i mean we have to admit that there is uh, not much jobs being created in india who said who told you i mean who like i do know i mean a lot of I people i in the it industry i am i am i want 10 engineers i am looking for last one year 10 engineers i did not get even a single engineer yeah but and i mean I'm like see give, i mean like uh, that doesn't me, mean that let me finish let me finish, yeah. let me finish. i am ready to give the starting salary of 3000 dollars 3000 dollars is how much 2.5 lakhs yeah in in normal company you won't get a, a 30000 or 40000 50000 maximum you'll get okay company like wipro and tcs you know wipro and tcs they will go to the villages and they will absorb the engineers of 20000 rupees and they will use them as a iti you know iti you know yes, ITI? Yes, yes. there is a difference my mother was not understanding difference between iit and iti my father was iti my father was iti and he was not understanding difference between iti and iit that is a tragedy forget about it now these companies service companies they will treat them like an iti means take this wire put it here uh, this is a software these are the inputs these are the outputs you have to check that now wh- where is the engineering tell me 
you want to uh, there are some good college there are one or two college means out of 500 colleges you will find five to ten colleges are good rest are all useless in uh, uh, two years back um, uh, almost for four to five years many engineering colleges were shut down because there was no staff there is no engineering staff and because of covid it makes hopeless again but see before covid as well there were huge amount of problems because See, they don't know. See, you are, you are an engineer. No? What is expected from you? Engineering. That's it. But nowadays, everybody wants to become a manager. And you go and catch hold any manager from any company, Vipro, Infosys, PCS. You ask him to prepare Excel sheet. He won't be able to prepare Excel sheet as well. Forget about engineering. And so nowadays, then, uh, what is happening? I mean, if you're saying nowadays, that... Uh... One minute. I haven't finished, Jaydev. Nowadays, what is happening? Company started realizing. Previously, there was a boom because of two uh, K uh, million, two uh, K problems, and all this. Were so any Tom, Dick, and Harry used to get opportunity in US. Now, nowadays, US opportunities are shut down because H one B and all these a lot of constraints are there. Second one is these people they have not done engineering because they simply want manage people. Send the email at eight o'clock. Big email. Big email. You should send the email of four to five lines. That's it in points, because this bunch of idiots doesn't know how to send an email. Okay, and then they they will change their accent because engineering is not engineering. Engineering means send the big emails or after eight o'clock. Okay, and then leak the ass of boss. Then uh, 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 yeah, manage the Excel sheet. Then uh, uh, form a uh, in uh, this uh, team meetings. Nowadays there is a fashion in a service company. Team meetings are going for two hours, three hours. Your eight hours job, three hours of meeting, and then couple of meeting, job is over. Okay, hours are wasted, minutes are saved. That is a proverb you know, correct? And what will happen now? Nowadays, uh, since uh, government is focusing more on entrepreneurship, uh, startup companies. Uh, research and development because there are so many uh, military research you just simply take a military research you'll find huge amount of opportunity but you cannot who is preparing excel sheet what job he will do in the research let me know i'm giving you the answer what is the root cause problem their degree is engineering but there is no engineering can you do the hands are you hands on no i i i want to manage people That's the whole problem. And nowadays, there is that trend is going inside the IIT as well. Because in IIT, nowadays, after graduation, people want to do the IIM and management and all this stuff. Because then you will wear tie, suit, boot, okay, powder, lipstick. And then uh, you'll, you want to join some company as a manager. And nowadays, the trend is changing. We don't want managers. We want engineers. We want to solve engineering problems. We want to uh, solve the autonomous car. If you will take an autonomous car in India only, all the projects are happening in US and Europe. Autonomous car won't happen in India. And autonomous car means not necessary the car you are driving. I will give the thousands of examples. You can use autonomous car for mining detection for military application. That will save the life of people. You can use autonomous car firefighting application. You can use autonomous car uh, uh, mining industry where uh, there is a hazardous situation. Can we do this project? We can do it, provided we have the engineer. The people are shouting, so many engineers from India, so many youngsters from India. How much they know? How much they know? And what are the resources? 1.5 billion people, uh, land is same, water is same, food is same. In 47, we were 30 crores. Now we are 1.5 billion, five times more. How many means you mean to say next year, suppose after five years, we become 3 billion. We should create that many industries to create a job because nobody is thinking. What is the impact of population? What is the impact of food? What is the impact of clothes? What is the impact of land? Now, all houses in India are in one crore, minimum one crore range. Minimum one crore. In Pune, I bought my flat 20, 000, 20 lakhs rupees when I came to Pune in 2000. And now that flat cost is 2.5 year. For no reason. For no reason. In 2.5 year, in California, you will get a house. Okay. 
near sea beach a big palaces house here our outside half is there is a slum area jopadpatti because now this is a total engineering problem. means engineering doesn't mean only engineering engineering means infrastructure as well engineering means your mind as well you have to have an engineering mind you should think in an engineering way if you are an engineer if you are a doctor you should think in a medicine or you can say the biological aspect if you are a philosopher you should think in philo but nowadays that kind of thinking is not there spirituality what people want someone should come they should bless him open third eye within 25000 rupees and now they want to dance spirituality is not a spirituality is everywhere and now i can give you the solutions as well now i talked about problems let's discuss about solution as well but see solution will work if you give the wrong treatment to wrong disease means to a disease it will create huge amount of problems so whenever you are talking about solutions you have to understand first what is the exact root cause problem and don't try to treat symptoms you treat the problem root cause now ask me the another question yeah so like let's uh, leave engineering and medicine aside now uh, there'll be a lot of people who start uh, you know business in uh, you know starting some restaurant starting some bakery for example i'm just giving some examples and uh, you know they fail like they lose all the money they uh, the startup idea does not make any money so in that cases uh, you know it's called a failure and uh, i have noticed that in india that uh, you know people don't uh, respect people who make failures but they respect people who have succeeded right so that is a big observation i've made they don't encourage people to be entrepreneurs they i mean in india it's the thing that uh, you know you work in some company you know earn some fixed income and then you are respected am i right uh, yes up to certain level you are right but not 100% the reason is to become an entrepreneur you have to have some experience along with you correct without experience you just simply get out from the college and do the entrepreneurship i am not talking about exceptional cases you keep exceptional cases outside okay that is a hardly one in uh, lakhs okay For, we are not talking about exceptional case but if you want to become an entrepreneur okay you have to have a complete business model with you my wife i will give you example of my wife she is a good cook okay now she has gone to ashram and uh, uh, managing entire uh, uh, you can say the uh, uh, food section but couple of years back she tried to do the hoteling business and now i could not convince her my own wife i could not convince my own wife you cannot do that business unless and until you should know the complete process because running a hotel okay so forget about running hotel she tried the supplying food to some uh, uh, it company now running hotel is a big thing supplying food is much smaller part of that hoteling business she said a oh, thousand people well, how do you manage your inventory up to cooking of the food how many people are required how do you manage their salaries how do you manage their uh, 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 inventory how do we you manage your in uh, investment uh, how do you manage the if people are uh, not coming to office or people issues are there because whenever you are working with more than 10 people you'll always find a people problem okay you'll always come across people problem. do you have any idea she said no she was under impression i will take one machine and i will just mint 1000 chapatis that is not a business and then you'll fail then you'll fail now in it industry people come, finish graduation they will do some final year project some basic project but making a project and making a product huge gap is there huge gap because whenever you are making a product simply i made a product but is it a sellable product can you stand in market how many products are there in the market where does your product stand is it competitive enough at both level cost to, normally we call cost to performance ratio because that will describe everything cost and performance so cost to performance ratio should be as small as possible there is a third factor is also called form factor that is a size means you make a you make a say autonomous car or a robot or uh say uh, any machine any machine in the world is it competitive enough and second thing is it is there a requirement in your market 
is there any requirement in work so if you want to become an entrepreneur the basic things are you come out with an idea conceptualization of the idea the prototype of the idea okay and the business model for the idea how many people are thinking about it can you imagine that a, a, a fresher from a college can think about all these four points there are other points as well but basic fundamental four points jaydev as per your experience let me know the freshers can think about these four points no they want to they are just uh, living in hallucinated world i did some be project and then i want to sell it as a project no now i will give one example have you seen a video one uh, one uh, garage person he made a helicopter using 800 maruti 800 engine that video is there on the youtube <coughs> and then people started shouting see the india such a great india ki he made helicopter okay out of 800 engine and then within within 5 minutes he died within 5 minutes that he started that chopper and then uh, the the even rotor control it went out of uh, speed I means speed control of motor wasn't there because he was not knowing engineering he felt just coupling some parts okay one can do the chopper and then you become a nasa scientist that is a expectation and that is a cause of failure and then the one wing cut chopped his head because it went out of control and after that no 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 news why right? and this is the best representative case of why things are getting why uh, uh, fresh you freshers are getting failed my suggestion to them is at least work in industry for 5 years you gain the required experience understand the business model see doing a job in industry is a different thing you are uh, you are uh, you can say the exempted from lot of responsibilities you work on one project but how to sell the product and how to recruit team and all the, it is not pressure on your head but when you are doing business all the pressures will come on your shoulder and then you can find out whether do you have that credential thought process power uh, uh, your uh, experience skill set to make your business successful and to make your business successful you need at least 3 years of hardship hardship then you can make your business successful so this is yeah, advice to my uh, all the entrepreneurs there's one comment from true indian uh, sri guju ben ji who lost three children started her business in mid 70s starting with pickle and now she is an example of youtube famous you can see such bold stories elsewhere yes that is that that is a fair enough see the business is a small or big doesn't make any difference one should know see pickle is also a product but she made a pickle and she was in position to sell it in market by by means any advertising or whatever she did that is a success and uh, your age doesn't matter for the business whether you are a 25 year old or 70 year old doesn't really matter so you do any business i am not saying you do the very high fi technological business you can sell even a bread or butter as well you can sell vada pav and i saw the lot of vada pav stalls who are earning in lakhs okay but they make their see how do they manage their inventory because to make a vada pav and to sell it to say 1000 people you should have at least 1000 vada pavs basic one and people don't calculate that then how much inventory should be there in the morning how, uh, how much gas is required how much uh, resources are required how much waste material is there and to make a vada pav you need a mirchi you need kothimbir you need everything how do you manage that and how do you save your cost and next day morning do you have that material at your disposal if you can manage that then you simply you can say i can make a very good vada pav no, that is not sufficient if you are a good chef means you can make a very good uh, you can say the food but you cannot run a hotel business if you don't have that background that experience that is my so opinion. what uh, sorry uh, what i have noticed is in india even uneducated people who are not educated if they have a street smartness you know they run very successful businesses very unconventional exactly. business exactly so what is your opinion on that those sort of people like who are very successful they are not educated different. Yeah, see, uh, edu- what do you mean by education? 
do you mean education is getting degree from universities no i don't ha huh? it will make the process little bit streamlined means you can say the nowadays managers hopeless they are finding all the tricks uh, for example uh, managers joining in insurance companies or bankers we came out with such a nice beautiful products all products are useless it is a pro it is not a product it is cheating with the people we are making this free that free this one is free uh, you come and play the rummy game now marketing strategy you play the rummy game mai to ek common aurat hu ट्वेंटी रुपीज डाला और मुझे थ्री थाउजेंड मिला और बाद में सम एक्टर्स विल कम एंड से यू कैन ऑन लैक्स ऑफ रुपीज बाय प्लेइंग रमी दीज आर द बिजनेस स्ट्रेटेजी नॉट इज सो सी इफ यू आर डूइंग बिजनेस फर्स्ट थिंग नाउ आई कम टू माई लेवल इफ यू आर डूइंग बिजनेस फर्स्ट थिंग इफ यू आर स्पिरिचुअली वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग ओके यू मे ऑन लेस बट यू विल ऑन वेरी सॉलिड स्टफ विच विल impact your next generation forget about whatever i said previously now we'll come to the spiritual level ki what is the spiritual solution for this so you do your business with morality with dignity with integrity and you do the business in a such a way you can earn your own profit as well but you are doing for the society you are doing for country because that is your contribution you are getting mukt you are getting mukti from samaj rune your family rune your country rule correct so that is my that is a way i look at from uh, i look at the business now in my case when i started my own company in 2019 ideal technology okay uh, uh, recently i have shut down it i came out with a product within 3 months so you can design a artificial intelligence model deep learning model we call it deep learning model without writing single line of code i can give the demo as well in in the next section i i will show you the demo of my product and bosch companies like bosch toyota they were very much impressed and i demo showcased in las vegas cs conference world top class conference but what happened because of covid uh, in 2019 i started company i gave the two demos one in silicon valley and another one is in las vegas cs conference and embedded technology conference but end of the day i have to shut down but i did not get disappointed i took it as a god's instruction ki ganesh don't get involved into this because now this is not a right age and you are you are walking on something else on different path god forced me to shut down and i happily shut down i happily shut down this i am having the patent you know the my initial cost of, uh, cost of the company when i came out with a patent and prototype 10 million dollars within 3 months 10 million dollar means just calculate around 70 to 80 crores and it would have gone to 100 million dollar but chopped it now i won't call it as a failure because my product is ready now there are couple of companies are approaching me can we can we take your patent and your product and we'll start working on that itself is a success and my success is not a company or money my my i made a product out of it whatever experience i got it in artificial intelligence i came out with a patent idea i have came out with a product idea one fine day i feel ki somebody will buy it and he will give me the uh, couple of uh, crores but i am not interested i am not expecting anything out of it so that i came out after 20 years of experience in artificial intelligence but nowadays the uh, these freshers are expecting they want something else immediate success no 3 to 5 years in any business you cannot flourish a business with dignity and honesty ha huh, if you do something else okay that i don't want to talk about it uh, you get you can get a success in 10 days as well <laughs> but that is not a topic of our discussion <laughs> yeah so uh, wonderful so uh, from, like, i think questions from uh, uh, audience i think i talk too much today yeah yeah so uh, now uh, certain questions one second mcdonald started at age 50 but in india only in gujarat it's bubbling up with spirit says true indian so i didn't understand uh, what not, yeah, yeah. Uh, even i did not understand the the crux of the question okay uh, uh, but yeah the uh, mcdonalds become successful because they came out with a very good uh, business ideas that's why business ideas conceptualization of business business model okay what you can sell it in the market what is your current requirement and normally in food food area 
90% you get a success because everybody wants food everybody wants food no but everybody doesn't want robots everybody doesn't want drones everybody doesn't everybody doesn't want uh, a cannon but everybody wants daily requirement is a food and therefore uh, he managed in such a fashion that's why you'll find now mcdonalds everywhere almost in every city or uh, every airport or railway station and uh, people like it okay so the, he understood the crux of the business even though it is a simple business but he managed it in very nice way and he, if you see the infrastructure cleanliness the way they deliver uh, uh, the uh, the food as well okay everything matters quite a lot see this is a common problem in india is that uh, there's a lot of politics in office in indian system people are jealous the you know horrible bosses horrible managers and people leave the jobs because of this so this is a uh, question how to handle toxic bosses <laughs> are you mentioned i yeah i told you in my previous session that i'm not getting a job in pune for last 18 years because my boss in serious logic okay uh, he is not allowing but see whenever uh, i i came across 80% toxic bus in fact uh, only in a uh, connection system i came across uh, my good manager his name is anup cheru attur okay he is working in delhi in some company and later on he gave me the consultancy but he was my best manager but out of almost 15 16 manager i came across one or two good manager rest were all toxic absolute nonsense absolute nonsense if you don't leak their asses okay you won't able to do the job they will try to harass you and they will force you to the live job but if you have the capabilities that is my another means solution so now solution to the problem i never bother about my boss i told my boss on his face you know what i said you are a asshole there was a uh, in I, i will give the name of the company some people might be watching there is a company called think i semiconductor at hyderabad there is a bell company you know the bell they uh, bell uh, bell computers uh, dell computers dell uh, this uh, uh, laptops and all these dell machines are there right so it was next to that dell office high tech uh, high tech uh, area in hyderabad there was a thinkai semiconductor and i solved their many problems in artificial intelligence but there was one british american guy white guy okay he was not knowing anything simply since he is a gora okay white white skin person all indians were leaking his ass and one fine day my ceo asked what is your opinion about i told him in front of his face he is a top level asshole and it it is a sinking boat and now i will give the name of that company it is called blaze that company name is blaze now they change and 14 years the company is running output product is zero output product is zero but still they are managing means there is no morality in the business now it is a it company it is it they will portray as a, we are making a super computer for india there was in one conference super computer india and i went to that conference i was attending online and then i asked him in the background mode ki how many products you sold it he ran away from there ceo of the company so such type of companies are also there and i told him you are a asshole and i like only one movie apne ek movie dekha pankaj kapoor ka ek doctor ki maut i never seen no 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 No, no, no. There is a one movie uh, by Pankaj Kapoor. Okay, a okay. doctor ki maut. Okay, oh. he is a doctor doing research on leprosy. Actual life me kya kya usne uh, suicide kya? O doctor ne. Actual life me suicide kya? Because he did so much and he came out with a good vaccine. Okay, but his all friends were uh, become uh, uh, that time they become crore pati. and he was simply doing research and his wife was totally frustrated. I think wife is Shabana Azmi. Okay. and uh, in the movie they made it very uh, happy end uh, he gets opportunity in us and then he fly to us that is the end of the movie but in real life uh, real story was he committed suicide to jab uska interview lete ki leprosy pe he made a vaccine so uh, he just uh, later on he becomes so strong okay he was totally frustrated and after frustration he becomes so strong he went for that interview okay and almost 8 to 10 doctors and he say all of you are bunch of idiots i like that and i imitated that i accept it i imitate and i should tell my boss you are an asshole that's it and one fine day company will shut down serious logic was shut down in pune 
such a multinational company. It is still there in US. You can search Austin Cirrus Logic making semiconductor chips for all audio, AVR, music systems, and television systems or mobile systems. Then I was in UK uh, called uh, this uh, Ethical Limited. Same thing in UK. He was saying uh, he was uh, uh, he was uh, uh, telling me in India such type of things are happening, nonsense and blah blah. I drilled him half an hour, and later on, it's like you people are the assholes. The maximum atrocity on the world in the world, you people have done it. You deserve to face two world wars. My pura post mortem kar deta. I don't care for job, but one best solution in my life. I don't, I'm not saying you should follow, all the people should follow, but one best solution in my life is God. And despite that fact, I said my all bosses, you are an asshole. I'm still having, I'm still having a job of 1.5 year. Because of my skill set, because, not because, I don't give credit to my skill set or uh, this. Okay, I do have a skill set. That is fair enough, but it is a God grace. And that mm -hmm. is because of my spiritual practices for last 25 years. Yeah, there is one uh, comment. Dr. Ganesh is getting emotional in the hot seat, says uh, True India. <laughs> See, such our comments will come. I'm not emotional. I'm, I feel bad for this next generation. See, people, people are laughing. I told you. People are doing such type of true Indian. I don't think he's a true Indian. He's a false, falsified Indian. These people are there. I'll say a bunch of idiots. And I don't care of the idiots. Because, see, I have seen the sadhus. I have seen the saints. And when you go to saints or real sadhu, okay, the first thing you will get, properly you will get beaten. They, 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 you read Gita. What Gita? Uh, what Krishna said to Arjuna? Are you an idiot? Are you full fool? You are leaving your weapons. Krishna ne aise nahi bola na. Alle alle mere bacha aaja. Alle alle aise nahi karte hai. Aise kya Krishna ne? Dropadi vasraran hone ke baad Dropadi ko jo lecture diya hai Krishna ne. Ki I am not here to take a revenge of your vasraran. And then people will say uh, you are losing your control. I am not losing my control. You go and lead your own life. I don't care. How you are leading your life. Don't come and ask me the solution. People want solution immediately. So you go to, uh, there are so many uh, uh, people are there on the television, correct? They will take 25,000 and they will teach you the turbo yoga. And then you will also feel good. Okay, uh, do this, do that, phalana thimka. They will cheat you. And people are happy with such type of people. If I will give the right solution, do the chanting of God for 21,000 times. No, 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 we don't have a time. But we are having time for movie. We are having time for some bunch of idiots movie. They are having time for watching serials. They are having time for uh, Nanga Nach on YouTube. They are uh, having time for watching pawns. And they are having uh, time for uh, sticking photographs on Facebook. And multimedia. And pagal, pagal ho gai hai, puri dunia. Only 10% people are working. Rest are all creating chaos. And then what is your contribution? And even if you are expecting God should help you, why God should help you? Who are you? And why should God help only one person? What are you doing for the God? What are you doing? And people are people, the main problem of the people is the world should work or happen according to their desire. No, it won't happen. That is a fundamental problem. And people are, because see, after this channel, no, uh, after I came to your channel, people are sending me the emails and they are expecting solution of the problem immediate. I'm not a God. I'm not a spiritual teacher. I'm just explaining whatever I did in my life, whatever I experienced in my life. If you want to take it, take it. If you don't want to take it, tata, bye-bye. And I'm not an, uh, because I could not do anything in my life. That's why I'm becoming Baba or I'm becoming uh, walking on spiritual path. No, I achieved the highest level of education. That is my PhD. Along with my job, despite the fact my parents thrown me out of the house. I did not creep. I made my career by putting best efforts in my life. And I did balance of both. My materialistic life as well as my spiritual life. And my materialistic life went well. In fact, very luxurious. Very luxurious. Forget about a couple of problems. I don't care about that problem. 
but i i led i feel i led a very good life because of my uh, you can say the uh, dignity or my honesty with the god and that's why i'm telling everybody first start chanting ganesh stotra Gan durga stotra do it for one year you spend 16 years for your education you cannot spend one hour for god three hours for movie five hours for party okay 10 hours for watching facebook one hour not for the god then don't expect any success you will get a success means not a money if you define a success as a money then i think it is your problem it is not my problem yeah so um, dr bokre is so right when a person moves to a different country they have to struggle for seven to ten years to be comf comfortable in their skin i'm talking about being a professional says anita okay yeah, it's right. She's right. I mean, Anita is right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So what I understand also in the case of failure is that one has to, you know, develop a mental strength, right? To how to deal with failure. It should not get into your heart. Right. And they now should. The, uh, here, uh, here. Okay. We'll, we'll take each point of yours uh, separately. Now, how do you develop your mental strength? See, you gave the symptom. Symptom. He developed the mental strength. You're right. But how? That is my question. And for that, how? The answer is a spirituality. Everything will get linked to spirituality. Now your next question. Yeah, let's go. Uh, you fire the questions, I will give the answer. If I find something relevant, I will add it. Yeah, next question. Yeah, so um, I mean, everything comes from mental strength. And uh, so you be spiritual, you meditate, right? Then uh, you get the mental strength to deal with uh, failure, right? Now, there are certain now, people... Yeah, 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 I will take a pause. Take a pause. Yeah. The failure, very often the 90% role is played by your uh, prarabdha. If your prarabdha is bad, even if you put the best efforts, because of your bad prarabdha, people will ditch you, people will uh, deceive you, and you will get fail in your business. Next. So how do we deal with that? At that point of time, what do people do? Because when the time is bad and they are having some sort of financial problem, what do they do at that point of time? You fight and you do... Uh, see, the only thing... You read Gita. Uh, only solution in your hand is to fight. Fight with dignity. Fight without a fear. Okay, Fight with honesty. And there, then, the God will stand behind you. And that is based on my personal experience. See, I'm not, I, I'm not teaching you the spirit, spirituality by just go to jungle and do the meditation. No. This is also a spirituality. If you want to lead your materialistic life nicely, but be in sync with the God. And this is my personal experience. God will stand by you. Not behind you. Not behind you. By you. With you. And the way he will give the solution, you cannot imagine. You just cannot imagine. Just give the control. You just say, I will put my best efforts. But God, show me the path. And he will open you the hundreds of windows for you. When I got, I did not get a job in Pune because of my manager. I got the best job in the world. England, America, uh, uh, yeah, Hyderabad, Bangalore. I was working in Bangalore, Texas Instrument, Hyderabad, Connection System. A uh, couple of startup American companies. And now I'm working in American company with such a huge salary. So God... But you have to have faith on God as well as you should spend some time for him. He gives you the freedom. You go in your own way or you can take my suggestion. But very often people don't have a time to take the God's suggestion because they use their brain. And that's the cause of failure. Spirituality yeah, means <laughs> meditation? Question mark says no, Bhavna. not absolutely. Ap meditation is a 1% part of the spirituality. Spirituality is a leading the life in a righteous manner. Okay, getting uh, moksha, getting, you can say the clearing your account of prarabdha and karma, previous karma and current karma. That is your uh, spirituality. Spirituality is talking with Jaide, talking with my audience, with honesty. Now I'm, today I raise my voice because I don't have any benefit. Am I asking money or am I asking you become my disciple? Am I asking anything? No. And because I did that teaching for 20 years, and now I left teaching. I stopped teaching. Because nowadays students are not interested in engineering. The very first question they ask, how much salary I will get? How these people will get successful in their life? No. 
and now i am going to the uh, i don't want to tell but in couple of days you will find i will i'll be in a, some remote place in aloofness believe me i am not interested i am fed up of this world because this world is what blaming game uh, morning people will uh, wake up they cannot handle their wife they cannot handle their kid but they will give suggestion to the uh, pm he should do this he should do that he should demolish pakistan please go home and sleep man he knows how to handle the country he know how to handle the 200 other countries correct and he is doing well for last 8 years you just don't give suggestion you just manage your wife and kid which you cannot manage then you will say my kid is not passing 10th standard then why are you giving suggestion to modi don't do, don't do that you first find out what contribution i can make for my country despite the fact of all the problems in my life and you took a birth on the planet we'll talk on this we took a birth on planet means you made a some mistake ganesh bhokre took a birth on the planet forget about doctor iit jobs salary forget about everything about ganesh bhokre ganesh bhokre took a birth on the planet means ganesh bhokre did the mistake in his previous birth in his previous birth i accept my mistake and i am doing papakshalan but that realization when i i it came it uh, just uh, commit means what you can say that honesty or that feeling okay is appreciated by god god appreciates your truthfulness and whenever there is a truthfulness you see all the saints you see all the great people okay the truthfulness took them to the highest level of uh, you can say the uh, highest divine level now you the way you feel define a success uh, like a uh, uh, greater than life uh, having drinks okay suit boot if it is that is a definition of your success please go ahead with everybody can define their success my success is what <coughs> reaching to god and forget about rest of the world <coughs> i gave my tips and see i am not giving you i am not telling you the uh, start behaving like me i spent my 25 years in materialistic world despite the fact i did not have any support from my parents i did my education and i did not stop at graduation masters phd i put my best efforts i put my best efforts to uh, get free from the samaj rune by teaching 20 years free of cost i did my uh, best efforts to work in industry and i got very good name i did my best effort to come out with a patent so materialistic world i did my best and now i feel yes now i have did sufficient and parallelly i was uh, doing my spiritual practices i never cheated with anybody even if i never took one rupee in fact i give more and whenever i got money i would have had a, a, a mercedes at my door i don't have i i do have a car but i don't have a mercedes i can buy a mercedes within a one two month salary but i feel it is a waste if you feel having 27 storied house and 600 cars that is a success of your life please go ahead with that i don't have any objection but tell me the entire if you see the entire brahmand having according to nasa it is a 3 billion year old 3 billion year old your life is 60 to 80 years average what is your success where do you stand you are wasting your complete punyai which you are not using it at all means if in front of jaydev if i'll keep around 10 dishes how many this is jaydev will eat one or two or three am i right jaydev yes yes maximum four puri bhaji shrikhand puri sweets how much will it and then rest is a waste but god has given so much out of his punyai in front of the jaydev and jaydev consume only 10% and rest 90% punyai is a waste this is a simple example i am giving means you are having up 10 bungalows a uh, 27 uh, storied house 500 cars and suit boot and all this you are wasting everything your punya is waste and the next birth you will have the horrible birth but obviously people say we want proof no i am a electronics engineering did i ask for the proof of electron show me the electron only after that i will become a electronics engineer you go to any engineering college and ask for the proof show me the electron otherwise i am not going to become electronics engineer are you doing that no you are not asking their proof but whenever you talk about god because there are many people 
who realize who are having realization of God. But people don't believe it because they want a very simple way. They want a very simple way and success in a short time, which is not going to happen in your life. This is a very strong comment from my side. Because uh, abhi kindergarten honeymoon time is over. I gave around five to six sessions on a Candid Mina channel. Now I don't want to talk goody goody. Goody goody, there are some other channels, there are some other gurus are there. Please go there, pay your 25,000 every month and have a goody goody session. In my session, I will beat you like nobody's business. In my school, I will beat you. And if you are not interested, please get out from my school. Or I will stop, I will stop coming to your channel. Both is fine because I don't care. Why should I bother? I don't want millions of people will come and will follow Dr. Ganesh. Not interested. Not interested. And give your suggestions to someone else. Don't give it to me. Because my, I take suggestions from my God. And this is coming everything from bottom of my heart. That's it. I don't want to cheat with anybody. Because people, people like only goody-goody statement. People don't like straightforwardness. People don't like truthfulness. That's why you can see that in today's world, there are so many people standing behind all crooked smugglers, murderers and everybody. Am I no right doubt. or not? No doubt. Then this is the answer I have given to you. <laughs> so what would you say in uh, like in a closing uh, stare, this thing, like a note that, um, you know, the advice that you would give for um, any aged person or any young person for that matter, you know, what are the steps he should be uh, doing to okay. sort of after he has failed many times in few uh, simple this thing? Okay. I'm not going to give my suggestion, but I will give my opinion. If you like it, follow it. If you don't like it, leave it. Okay. Uh, before that, now you tell me. Almost I was shouting for one hour. Okay. On your channel. Shouting means in the sense I was talking on that subject in a very strong manner. Now, now you are looking at my face. Do you think I'm a frustrated? Do you think? I don't think so. I don't think so. But people are making comments on that. Okay. Forget, I'm not interested in. I'm not interested. Now, the, the first suggestion, I will start with the right from birth. Parents, if you like it, if you want to have a child, do some practices for three months, whatever you like. Don't run behind any sadhu. Don't run behind any spiritual master. You are your own spiritual master. And when you'll reach to that maturity level, your spiritual master will contact you. You should not. Your spiritual master is much smarter than you. Real master. I'm talking about real master. Okay. But if you are interested in doing some courses, go and do it. Okay. I'm not interested. That is the first suggestion to the, uh, the birth of the kid. Then parents, you don't force your kid to become engineer and doctor. You understand his liking. Okay. You understand his liking and let him give the scope to build his career. You don't force him anything. If he likes engineering, let him go for engineering. He likes music, let him go for a music. He likes sports, let him go for a sport. Huh, you just put a constraint. You have to finish your graduation because that is a minimum requirement. Correct? I Through your channel, I will suggest the government. You give the let them study 10 subjects. I don't care. But do, let them have a choice. Otherwise, uh, they will get frustrated by 10 standards. Okay, in ten nowadays we see a lot of students may commit suicide because they cannot conceive mathematics or some students cannot conceive science or some subject, A, B, C, D subject. So out of 10 subjects, you make 4 or 50% subject or you decide, you do the brainstorming. But 50% subject, you make it career oriented. So even after 10 standard, he leaves the school. Okay, he leaves the school. He can earn his bread and butter. So he won't get frustrated. Right means he can make a sports. If he does a sports, he, even if he can make a bat, or even if he can make a ball, a good ball, or even if he can make a net or badminton, so many equipments are there. No? He can make it. Okay. And nowadays people are crazy for handmade uh, equipment as well. Right. You make him, uh, or you make him TV mechanic, or whatever, whatever, car mechanic, whatever. Because uh, all all students are not great. Everybody cannot make ninety percent in maths and science. Correct. So. You make your career course, okay, which will make him self-sustainable, self-capable, 
up to 10 standard so five subjects whatever he likes means he can make have a he can make my major as a music or sportsman but yeah you should know language you should know some basic maths because it, it, maths is required everywhere in music also you need a maths in sports also you need a maths correct end of the one should do the calculations okay analysis so mathematical aspect has to be there. so government should do the brainstorming on it and make a give the freedom to the kid to choose his career or her career okay that is the second thing all the kids i will request you chant uh, uh, Ganpati Sotra because it is a Buddhi Devata. Okay. Uh, girls should chant Durga Sotra. And nothing wrong in that. How much you have to pay? Nothing. It is a free of cost. But if you chant uh, Ganpati Sotra, your brain will get sharpened. You have to put less efforts. Means if you are putting efforts for say 60%, if you chant the name of the uh, uh, like uh, Ganpati Sotra, okay, right from childhood, instead of 60%, I I, I believe you will get 80%, 90%. Okay, that is a kid should do. Parents should train them in a such a manner, okay, with a freedom, but whenever there is a, don't pamper your kids. Stop pampering your kids. Stop giving the uh, feeling that you are the greatest personality, like American, honey, 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 morning, means uh, one year honey, and after one year there is a divorce. Means I don't understand honey and all this stuff. And that culture is coming to India, which is bad. Uh, don't pamper your kids unnecessary. Giving mobile phones, giving all kinds of luxurious items. Don't do that. Let them realize what are the pains required. And very often what happens, husband and wives are working in industry. And IT industry, they are crack people. Idiot. They feel they are different breed. One lakh salary, one lakh salary. Then tutu mai mein chalu hota hai. And the kids are doing they are going in another direction so give the mobile phone and tablet so they feel our responsibility is over don't do that if you want to do it please go ahead i don't care okay third one uh, up to 10 standard or 12 standard though there is a limitation of the schooling you try to become their teacher along with your parents you try to teach them some virtues give them the realization if someone wants to go in army encourage them to go anywhere you make career in any field Okay, but you teach them Mahabharata, you teach them Ramayana, you teach them Stotra. So these are the virtues. This is a real education. Whatever education you are getting in school, colleges, it is hopeless. It is just for getting bread and butter. It won't teach you the virtues. But money is your success. Please go ahead. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a mentor for you. Money will come automatically. No need to run behind the money. And this is the best example I myself. I was a I was a kid uh, living in a slum, ten by ten, ten by ten uh, chal, okay. Where hundred people used to go in one common toilet with dabba in my hand, up to seven standard, up to twelve standard in fact. So uh, uh, don't run behind the uh, money. Why, why I'm doing graduation? Because you will get the best job in engineering. You'll, such type of nonsense is there. You are doing graduation to make yourself mature, to understand the world, to understand the concept of, uh, uh, you can say the businesses, materialistic life, as well as spiritualistic life. That kind of the teaching should come from parents. And that will come only when you teach them uh, basic thought right from childhood. And you yourself chant, start chanting first. Then it will come to your kids. That's why before you make a child, spend at least three months in some secluded place or at home as well, okay, and do some practices. Do uh, now one more thing do havan, havan at your home, okay. Take any one mantra, okay, and do the 108. Havan, havan will cleanse in your house, havan will remove your viruses, havan will so many things, havan will remove all bad vibrations from your house. There are so many. We'll have one more session on how to do the havan and all this stuff. I was doing Havan for 20 years. Nobody is aware. I see this is again a mistake I'm doing. I don't want to tell all this stuff. But now, if it is come to the virtues, you should do it. And then you see what happens at your home. You'll get a different thing. Forget about the world. Stop blaming, blaming the world because entire life you'll go in blaming the world only. And nothing will come to your plate. So that and now uh, come to the uh, the after you finish your education, try to take the best education along with your uh, uh, your sanatan dharma along with your uh, the 
true true knowledge of yourself so both should go in parallel hands in hand because that will support you the divine energy will give the proper direction to you and it will uh, even though the calamities will come he will he will take you out of from that calamity and the best example is sitting in front of you okay then next one is uh, once you finish try to finish your graduation with a good expertise okay uh, then uh, if you joined a job don't leak the ass of your boss be strong enough even if you lose your job i don't care because i care for my god nowadays 90% people are leaking the ass of boss see the our media media i prem i want to have a bungalow at south delhi and that's why i will start doing any kind of the rotten business i will support murderer terrorist blah 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 see the media what will happen you see your next generation kids totally destroyed you see that i don't want to explain you see you can see that druggy buzi no education no virtues no smartness only money how much money uh, how these people are dying see that that dying with a very very means painful death and after death again there will be hundreds or thousands of years they will go through that pain believe me if you don't want to believe it is fine next one once you start crossing 40 start phasing out from the materialistic world enough enough is enough try to do the vana prasthashram now in materialistic world in this world today's world kali yuga vana prasthashram is not possible for everyone but you get detached from all the your materialistic life let your kids do their business don't get don't poke inside their business my kid is not doing this my kid is not doing that uh, his wife is bad his husband is bad don't get let them lead their life you just chant the name of the god how much you need two time food two time tea biscuit that's it finish mujhe to shaam ko ek time ka taak ek ek glass taak deta hai na to i'm done my life is done after 50 40 to 50 start approaching your spiritual life okay and after 50 try to get detached from the materialistic world so that your only objective is how i can die peacefully by chanting the name of the god and how i will get merge with the god how i will travel my self realization path so this is what you are supposed to do if you don't if you like it take it if you don't like it that is also fair enough you can follow your own path so yeah, i have covered uh, i think all the age groups am i right yeah if there is any question uh, spend another yeah so time. we are uh, our time has exceeded the limit Uh, so we'll have another session yeah we'll have another session uh, next week and it's a fantastic session and many people have uh, you know enjoyed the session and uh, you know they are uh, talking about you know your advice and uh, your the answers which you gave so uh, we'll uh, you know catch up uh, with another session next uh, thursday and uh, thanks for again uh, coming on our show as always <laughs> thank you very much uh, jaydev and i wish you best for your channel as well as your all the audience who are sincerely interested in uh, leading a some good life okay moral life or a life with dignity okay so thank you and best of luck to everyone and if you like it simply spend one one hour i am expecting only one thing spend one hour don't run behind any idiot you are your own guru you just lean inside and start praying automatically you will get direction you don't need anybody you don't need dr ganesh as well okay you yourself is a guru and when you mature you will i am repeating it once again you uh, this is my last message to you so uh, god will show you the proper direction but you have to believe yourself if you don't believe yourself you cannot believe the world and forget about the world what is happening when you become mature enough then you start contributing for the world i am doing it right now i i don't want to explain what i am doing i am doing lot of things in the background okay so first you make yourself strong and then start thinking about the world okay and don't worry about all this materialistic life okay so uh, that is the only suggestion i will give and if uh, people want it i will come again if people don't want it i will say goodbye 
<laughs> best of luck to everyone <laughs> yeah so uh, i'm sure many people uh, would keep on like <laughs> would want you again and again so on that note uh, thank you again very much uh, ganesh ji for uh, you know coming on the session and uh, sharing your beats of wisdom and we'll see you again next week jai hind thank you thank you very much bye good night good night